Good morning, everyone. Hello, hello. It's me, Jessica, your health fitness program manager from McLean. Uh, and I am here to guide you through today's lower intensity interval training class. I don't really want to say that it's lower impact because the impact is really what you bring to it. Let's get started by taking a teeny sip of water because it's early in the morning and just moving our feet. Oh, wake your body up, whatever that might look like for you. Give yourself a couple little shoulder rolls. Mm -hmm. H2O. Let's just like cross one arm over the other. I'm just alternating, bringing weight to one foot and then the other side of the body while crossing one arm over the other arm. We're gonna change this move up and do some hamstring curls and elbow pulls. So just pulling your elbows back, really working to lift your chest up. Think about each time those elbows draw back though, keeping your center line nice and tight. So your elbows draw back and your chest might open a little, but your rib cage stays nice and knit together. Such that if someone was gonna come up, bam, and punch you right in the belly, don't worry, they're not going to, I hope. Uh, you're all braced and ready and that's where we're really gonna be moving from today. Let's get four more of these on each side. Three. Two, we're gonna turn it into a march, so just bring your knee up towards your hand. Totally okay if you also need to bring your hand down a little bit here in this warm up to meet your knee. But I want you to try and bring your foot forward. So as you lift your leg up, instead of coming up like a flamingo, lift your heel in line with your knee. A little more challenging for your abs. Use your breath. We got four more on each side. Three, two, one. Awesome, gently just kick it out. Little heel digs forward. Still moving those arms a little bit. I'm drawing my elbow back and still just warming up my back. Maybe extending my arms. Getting a nice morning stretch into my surprisingly tired triceps. I hope that you have some weights nearby. We are gonna use weights today. Any type of weight that you would like to use. All of the moves that we're doing, we're gonna change up each round. So we're gonna start off with an easier version of the move. You can stick with that as we get to round two or three, or you can join me as we just step it up a little bit. All right, shake it out. Another quick little sip of water. Grab the weights that you would like to use for your bicep curls. We're working in 40 second intervals, 40 seconds of work. <clears throat> I didn't think those felt the same, pardon me, but only 10 seconds of rest. So there could be a lot of a cardio feel to today's workout uh, because of the shorter intervals. First move, elbows start close by your side. We're going for a low range of motion bicep curl. Shoulders roll down and back, a slight bend in your knees just so you're not jamming them out. We're coming only to 45 degrees and lowering back down. Wow. In three, two, one, here we go. Awesome. So if you can, I'm gonna encourage you to just keep your feet planted so that we can really focus on getting this engagement on the biceps. Now, anyone can lift their arms up. Anyone can lift their arms up without engaging their biceps. Even with the weight in your hand, it might feel challenging, but I want you to imagine like I'm pushing down on your hands, like I'm creating extra resistance as you move from the top of your thighs to 45 degrees. So that bicep really starts to fire up. We've got five seconds to go from right here. And then you might need a lighter weight for the next move for our side lat raises. I know I do. So carefully putting down these fives. I'm going to grab something lighter. I'm sorry, I had eights and I'm going for fives. Shoulders still down and back. Let's begin. We're going to lift our arms up and out to the side and then slowly lower them down. They can either be right in line with your shoulders or if you want to go for a little bit in front of you, a bit of a Y to the front, you can. I'm gonna stay out to the side right here. Still lots of weight in the heel, ball of the foot down on the floor. You don't need to lift your arms higher than your shoulders. And as I'm lifting up, I also am bringing my hands a little towards the back. So I'm not going for that Y raise right now, but I wanted you to know it's an option. 
Next up, we're gonna go for a row. I'm gonna stick with the lightweight because the first row that we're gonna do is an upright row. So shoulders down and back, belly in, lead with your elbow. Maybe you can only get uh, to a certain height and then slowly lower down. I know this one can be really challenging uh, depending on if you have any shoulder impingements. Awesome. We're just moving with control. So we're not racing through it. We're using our back still. So yeah, we had two back moves in a row. Ooh, this upright row, feel it a bit in the chest as well though. Could also just be because I'm real tired. It is always fun to ask yourself, where am I feeling this exercise? Next up, we have our standing side body crunch. I'm gonna put both of my weights in one hand instead of switching to a heavier weight. And we're just gonna decrease the space between the lower rib and the hip and pull yourself back up. I'm exhaling to find this side body crunch, inhaling to find the lift. You're also getting such a nice stretch on the opposite side, which is still so ooh, good for just slimming yourself down. So can you even take your whole exhale, the whole exhale to find this crunch and then inhale to lift yourself up so we get that great stretch on one side. We're gonna get the opposite side next time, don't you worry. So if you're not joining me and going to the same direction I am, just keep that in mind. Our last move, you can put your weights down, is just a lateral side to side step. So we're just gonna get some movement, stepping our feet side to side. You can keep your feet simply stepping side to side, or you can turn this into a grapevine or a double tap. Double tap, just two to a side, grapevine. You can always step one foot behind and then tap. If that is confusing, just stick with me right here, side to side tap. If you don't have a lot of room, maybe it's still just that single tap. We're doing what we can with the space we have, with the bodies we have. It's gonna beat and we're gonna come right back into our bicep curls. Changing the range of motion of those bicep curls though. If you decide you need a sip of water, grab it and then come back to the workout. All right, grabbing my slightly heavier weights for the bicep curls. This time starting at this 45 degree angle, plant your feet, we're coming up to the shoulders. So shoulders to 45 degrees. Make sure that your weight's not so heavy that you're overarching your back here. So pelvis is a little tucked under. A lot of times when that extra curve in the back happens, it is because the weight's pulling us down or it's a little bit more challenging. So I just want you to be smart and safe for your body today. While you're curling it up, still really work to engage that biceps. Elbows stay right by your side here. I'm taking an extra pause even at that 45 degrees. Next up, coming back to that side lat raise. Now, if you want, you can still just go straight out to the side. I'm gonna add in a little bit up to the front, to the side and down, and then switch. So still bringing those arms up, hands pumped to shoulders height. As my arm goes out to the side, I'm engaging through the back. That back shoulder blade is squeezing in, getting just a little bit more chest here also by adding this front raise instead of just the side lat raise. Keep that slight bending in your knees. Keep your belly pulled in. No overarch of that lower back. If this isn't feeling good. Remember, you can stay right here. Even if there's no weights in your hands, it is a great place to be today. Woo! All right, next. We're gonna hinge over. Our next row is gonna be a high wide row. So a nice flat back. I'm gonna row out wide to the side like a scarecrow. My hand palm join me is staying in line with the shoulders. I know this one can be challenging. So I'm sticking with just doing one arm at a time to really focus on finding that squeeze. Eye gaze stays down to the floor, no extra wrinkles in your neck. If you wanna try maybe adding in one or two of both arms moving at the same time, you can do alternating and then together. We've got 10 seconds left. 
Try to keep your hips stable here, not rotating side to side as those arms draw back. So we are getting a little bit of core work, belly pulled in to keep your back safe in that hinge. Take a break. We've got our other side standing crunch. So I'm transferring both my weights to the other side, whole new side of the body. Let's do it. Finding that exhale to reach down. Inhale, lift yourself up. Because it's a whole new side of the body, it might feel different. Maybe it feels easier. Maybe it feels harder. You're still using your breath. Exhale, find that crunch. Inhale to lift. You're doing awesome. We are more than halfway through this entire workout. Every move is just under a minute. We've got our lateral side to side steps. I'm gonna hold on to the weights this time in the lateral side to side steps. Just having weights in your hands is gonna help work your uh, delts, traps. Yeah. Personally, one of my big goals as a lady who lives by herself, uh, you get all the groceries in at one time. I like to walk to the grocery store, so I'm also usually not driving, so I have to carry those groceries back at least two blocks. So I like a good exercise with some weights in the hands, just simulating what it's like to carry those groceries, keeping that proud lift of the chest. We're creating some instability with our feet. We're doing awesome. Switch that heavier weight one more time. If you would like, pardon me, pardon me. We've got those bicep curls again. Okay. All the way up, all the way down this time. Finding that full range of motion, still that slight bend in the knee. Exhaling on the hardest part here. So exhale up, inhale down, nice and controlled. Still imagine like I am pressing against that weight as you try and lift it. So those biceps really engage. I know they might start to feel a little tired here. Also depending on what else you've been doing this week or today, but you've got 10 seconds left, if that. Awesome, switching to the slightly lighter weights. Another option for your front to side raise is to rotate through. So on your next inhale, bring both arms up. And then we're gonna rotate around to the other side and bring it down. While you're finding that rotation, your hips are staying to the front, your core is staying nice and tight. Good, keep using your breath. I bet you're doing so well at home, either sticking with this move, or you can always go back to raising and lowering and then switching sides. Perhaps you're sticking with just your side lat raise right now. All of these are fantastic options. The best part is you showed up for yourself. All right, row, last direction of the rows. Take a nice forward hinge. Start with your dumbbells on your bent thighs. And we're gonna row low. So the weight paints up your thighs, elbows squeeze together, and then back down towards the floor. Find one spot, probably diagonally in front of you, for your eyes to be so your chin isn't tucked towards your chest. So there's no extra wrinkles on your neck. You can still do one arm at a time if you want. We got both of those arms at the same time. More than halfway through. We got two moves left to go in our final and third circuit. And some nice total upper body moves happening. Well, almost, we didn't really hit the triceps today. But we got a lot. <laughs> we got our standing crunch now. Awesome. I don't like to put pressure on the head. So maybe just once again, finding those knees, we're gonna crunch down. We're decreasing the space between the ribs and the hips, this time on the front side with a big exhale. That knee drive is just gonna work your abs a little bit more. I'm really trying to bring that knee up. Each time just finding this nice, awesome standing crunch, a little rounding in the back, just a little bit. Maybe you're even just reaching forward, 
Maybe lifting that leg is not working for you today and that's absolutely okay. We've got five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. Last round of finding our great finds. And I'm gonna suggest that we also add a hamstring curl at the end. So step, 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 curl. That inside leg is going to curl even if you're taking two steps without finding your grapevine, you can still find a nice hamstring curl of your inside leg when you get to the end. One more time, just moving those arms in that same row motion, same move that we did. And our warm up is our last move right now in the workout itself. Ooh, I did a lot of leg stuff today. Well, not today, but this week, and my quads are tired. How are you feeling today? What kind of stuff did you do this week? Are you proud of yourself for the movement you created? I sure hope the answer is yes. Let's get some nice little heel digs forward. Heel digs forward. Give me some big rolls of your shoulders. Go ahead, plant your feet. Change the directions of those really big shoulder rolls. Awesome, open your arms really nice and wide. Try and touch your fingers to the back of the room and give yourself a really big hug. Walk your fingers to the back side of the body as much as possible. Oh my gosh, do you remember back in the day? Did you guys do this where you would like hide in the corner and pretend like you were kissing someone to uh, creep your friends out at parties? No. <laughs> okay, open your arms really nice and wide and cross them over in the opposite direction. Walk your fingers all the way back. Give yourself a really big hug, kind of squeeze. Maybe even rotate a little bit side to side. Nice stretch into the hips a little, into the obliques, and tell yourself something great. You're amazing! <laughs> what did you scream to yourself at home? I hope it was something worthwhile. Let's come on back into just a nice little side to side step tap. Awesome. Heel digs. Just continuing to find some nice stretches, slow movement for the body. Side to side step tap. We're going to take one more time with those heel digs and then we'll finish with a total body stretch. Here we go. Heel digs. Great. Thank you so much for coming and joining me today. Go ahead, plant your feet, bend your knees, inhale your arms all the way up overhead, and on your exhale, relax your arms down by your side. Let's do that one more time. Bend your knees, inhale your arms all the way up overhead, exhale, relax your arms down. We got one more big breath up towards the sky. Bend your knees, inhale your arms all the way up. Keep your left arm up, right hand releases down towards the floor. Take a big reach all the way over to the right side. Try and keep that left shoulder against an imaginary wall behind you. Really press down into your left heel. We're creating that nice long side body stretch like we did in our side crunches. Inhale, right arm up, left arm comes down by the side. Take that big reach all the way over. Push your hips, ground through your right foot. Right shoulder touches the imaginary wall behind you. So right shoulder back, left shoulder forward. Right hip can come forward though so that you're still facing the front of the room. And on your next inhale, both arms come up. On your exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. Stretch your knuckles down towards the floor. Nice stretch into your chest. Maybe your hands can even come away from your glutes a little bit. Take another big inhale. On your exhale, carefully release, interlace your fingers in front of you, push your hands, palms forward, take a nice little rounding of your back, of your upper back, shoulders. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Separate your hands and take any stretch that feels right for you as you release your arms down. I like to reach my arms all the way out and stretch my fingers in towards each other. Big stretch into the forearms, which we don't always get. Even a little wiggling of your fingers there can bring more stretches into the whole arm up to the shoulders. Well, once you finish, stretch your fingers down to the floor. Shoulders down and back, glutes squeeze, hips forward, chest lifted, a little decompression of the shoulders. Take one more big inhale. 
and then exhale, let it go. Yay! Oh my gosh, we woke up, we found some movement. Whatever time of the day it is that you turn this video on, I am so proud of you for doing something for yourself, for your physical and mental health. I hope you'll join me later today for a little bit of yoga. Till then, have a great morning.